folks, and welcome to this episode of Carolina Outdoors. As you can probably tell from looking behind me, we are not in the Carolinas on today's show. We are in beautiful Costa Rica. We have got some exciting horseback riding, hiking, and of course, some incredible fishing coming up. That's of course some beautiful footage. Y'all stay tuned, we got it all coming up right here on Carolina Outdoors. Costa Rica, selfish on. All right, folks, well, that was exciting. That was Caleb's first ever sailfish, and now it's my turn. So get ready for some awesome mahi action. Get it, baby, get it. All right, folks, we are in Costa Rica. Caleb just caught a sail. We got a dolphin on right here. Look like a pretty decent dolphin. Whew, coming to the boat. It's hot, but we having fun catching fish. I gotta come try this. I wanted to get the frog. Yeah. Keep it up from Kevin? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's a nice one, too. Check out the side here, bro. Nice pool.
Fish in the boat. Costa Rica. Nice dolphin. Stay tuned. We're coming right back after these biscuits. Woo! Good dolphin. Okay, folks, we are here in the office of Fishing Nosara. We are with the manager, Javier. Yes, Javier. We were fortunate enough that Javier took us out on a kayak trip, and uh, we also got to go with his brother on the horseback riding trip and got to meet his mother. What a wonderful place and, and just wonderful people here. Um, Javier, will you tell the folks at home what Fishing Nosara is and what you guys have to offer? Yeah. Okay, uh, we have um, a lot of things to do with it. Here in Costa Rica, but uh, and uh, we offer just like a fishing, fishing trip, fishing, you know, in, in the ocean, inshore fishing, offshore fish, uh, fishing, like uh, for marlin, sailfish, uh, dorado, right, chain of tuna. Inshore fishing, just for uh, you wanna you wanna catch like a rooster fish, humberjack, jack, and, snappers, uh, snappers, yeah, grouper, just like right. a lot of fishing. But we offer two uh, like a horseback running, that's in the jungle, really, mm -hmm. well, you yeah, you see. And uh, we offer to a uh, kayak tour in the rivers and the real mass, just uh, that is part. And uh, and just just in the jungle too, you can mm -hmm. see the crops and and everything really nice. Oh yeah, nature over there. We offer to uh, rent the golf cart. We have the, the store here. You want to buy your own teachers, you know, to take home. Yeah. Well, well, I'm gonna tell you, folks. Uh, and Javier was telling us before we went on camera that a lot of people from the states go to Costa Rica and they go to San Jose and other parts of Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't really get to experience the culture, and that's what you get here. You get the culture, you get to meet the people. Craig Sutton, the, the owner of the facilities here, told me when we first started talking about this trip that this was a family-oriented, mm -hmm. Christian-oriented, yes. and, and it's, just, it's just what you want to bring your family to. San Jose may not be the place to take your family. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Yeah, it's a... Uh... Normally we have the houses too. We have it from the airport transportation to the houses, mm -hmm. and uh, I really recommend it. You wanna, you don't wanna stay for a long time uh, in, the, in the van just driving. You can fly to Liberia directly, right. and it's two, two and a half hours. That's right. Would be, be down here, and uh, it's, it's safe. We have a really good drivers. It's, it's safe for the families yeah. and the group too. And, but if you want to fly to San Jose, you can do it. It's around four, four and a half hours. Uh, depends how the traffic is at the five, five hours right. in a way. So we have a really, really good uh, staff for, for the driver. Right. And uh, that will be safe down here. If uh, you want to uh, pass for the groceries or you want to take an order and then go on the restaurant, for example, you can, you can stop. In the way. Right. right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, another way I can kind of explain it to you folks is that San Jose is like going to a large city. Mm -hmm. This is more of out in the country and be able to be in the jungle, part of the culture, and, and it's just super, super safe. There, are, We've seen so many families here with kids, um, husbands and wives. It's just it's just an awesome place. If you get an opportunity, you want to come see this. Um, Fishingnarsara.com is the way to go. And they guys can hook you up. They've got beautiful places to stay, uh, plenty of things to do here, and the people here are just fantastic. They're just so awesome. I want to thank you for what you've thank done. Thank you so much, Bill. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank thank you. you so much. Yeah, it's uh, that is the idea, you know. Recommend the people, and then we we have to do it. Oh, we want to do it. Give the best, and we have it. Just for the families, you know, and uh, feel free when you come here. Feel yeah, like a like a family, you know, when you come down here. Thank you so much, pura vida. Pura vida. When we come back, more exciting Costa Rica action. Hi, right, folks. We are here uh, in Costa Rica. We are on the Discover yeah. Discovery, and uh, we are here with Kevin. We got Carlos, Captain Carlos, up top, and we've caught uh, mahi mahi exactly. today. Mahi. Uh, like 35 pounds, right? We get ready, we get the box ready, and we get one selfie like around 80 pounds, medium size. Right. It's good, it's fine, right? We, we saw a bunch of porpoises, which means they were dolphin. Exactly, they try, but I don't know what happened because always they get, but today they come slow. 
tell the folks at home what's the best time of the year to come for what species. Well, all the thing, what kind of feed you get, yeah, you know? For selfish, wahoo, mahi, they like more summertime, you know? It's for marlin, yellowfin tuna, this time, June, July, August, and January, February, March, April. It's good for selfing wahoo and striped marlin because they get summertime, the water they change, they get more sardine, they get more activity in the water. It's more, it's more good for selfies. Easy and all day you get like 20, 25, 30 selfies and one wahoo, mahi. This time it's good for marlin, they get one or two and yeah, it's good. Okay, uh, folks at home, let me tell you, your summertime is it's our winter time. Yeah. So when you say summer, you mean December, January, February, exactly. March. Exactly. Yeah. The rainy season here is start like, like last week in April. They start. It's good for yellowfin because they got a lot of activity with the yellowfin. The marlin they come together. They like a black and blue. They come together. It's good. Good. Yeah. Well, we've had a wonderful time today. Caleb caught his first sailfish. We hooked up on that nice dolphin. Um, we've got two more boats to go on while we're here, the Harvester and the Wanderer. Yeah. And um, what can we expect there? Uh, well, every day they change, you know? Like, somebody, they'll tell me, they say the inshore, every day change here. I don't know, all depends how's the, how's the moving the fish, you know? Every day change is up to game. Super. Well, folks, that's going to wrap it up for this boat. We're going to take you on another trip on the next boat. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, buddy. Yes, sir. You we fine? En yeah, we enjoyed it. That's, ama that's amazing, buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. We'll see you next time. We'll be right on the next boat. Oh, yeah, baby. Costa Rica, you got to come to Norsara. If you've never been to Costa Rica, you must visit Norsara and give the folks a call at fishingnorsara.com. They will hook you up. Lodging, tours, fishing, they've got everything. The people are wonderful. Give it a try. It's not very expensive. You guys will enjoy it, I promise you. Until next week, get on and enjoy our Carolina Outdoors. Hi folks, welcome to today's show. We are out of the Carolinas today. We are in beautiful Costa Rica. We have been here fishing for three days. We got some exciting, beautiful footage coming up for you. Right now we got a sailfish on. Y'all hold your coffee tight. Get ready, we got some exciting fishing action coming up right here on Carolina Outdoors. Ooh, this fish is about to wear me out. All right, here we go. Folks, it's uh, day two fishing for us in Costa Rica with fishingnorsara.com. 
and uh, Caleb is hooked up. We've been fighting this fish now for an hour and a half. More or less. More or less. And uh, we, we had lines out 30 minutes and this fish hooked up. And we thought it was a black marlin. And yeah, it surely is a black marlin, which is very rare. Is that right, Alex? Yeah, the black marlin is the most rare. They like shallow water, but it's difficult trying to find it because they don't, they don't eat always. It's difficult. We got a lot of blue and the stripers. But we got a lot of blacks in here, but they don't eat always. They don't care about what kind of bait you use. When they, when they want to eat, they eat the small bait or big bait. They don't care about it. But this is, this is black. We got to be sure that there is a black marlin, but we're going to see what happens with them. They are fighting stronger. We got over one and a half hour, and we are trying. Yeah. Um, we, we've got, some, I think, hopefully, some great video. This fish jumping, running. Um, this, this fish has put on a show for us today, and I think we're just very rare and very lucky to have this fish on. Yeah, right now. very lucky. This is the most famous fish in this area. It's the most rare. Many people come trying to catch these ones. You get some black, some blue, and the stripers, but the blue, very difficult. This is the most famous, I think. We've had the leader up three to four times already and, and touched the leader, pulling the fish, but sounds again, takes off. So, y'all stay tuned. We got some exciting action coming up and hopefully we'll be able to put this fish next to the boat so you can get a good look at it. the first time I fight that long time with one marlin. Yeah. Yeah. Most time I fight before, it was around five hours. Uh, we got easy eight hours with this one right now. It's not moving, it feels like an anchor. You said going to be like an anchor. You're in line. Fighting this fish in a battle for over 10 hours, something had to give. It was either the fish was coming up and we were going to get a picture, or it was time to go home. And as it would be, the line broke, the fish headed back out, and we headed back home for another day. Be sure to stay tuned when we get back from these messages. We've got day three and more exciting Costa Rica action. Stay tuned. I knew whenever we broke the food out, the fish were going to eat too. But uh, 
We're on fishing day three. Um, first day of sale. Woo! Good dolphin. Dolphin. And then, of course, that second day we had that big black marlin on. We caught for 10 and a half hours. Today is day three of fishing. We caught a yellow fin. We caught some bait. We had some short bites. Um, we just had this bite. It's a hit the fish. Okay, let's get him on. going to show us a special way they tie these lures on, or these, these belly hoops. Back home we use wire, sometimes a, a nose clip somehow, and I've seen some of the comp competition guys in the, in the Blue Marlin tournaments, they tie them similar to this, but this is really neat. You don't need a needle to thread it over, so David's going to show us how to do this. This is really neat, guys. Watch this. You know Dino Floss? Dino Floss? Yeah. One look here. This. Makes a loop, has a knot, yeah. makes a little weight, small weight. Right here. Spread to the part. Gills. Put it behind the gills. Wait, Push right the weight here. down onto the fish. Come up around the mouth. Pull your knot tight on the fish. Pull your knot tight on the fish in the center right here, right there. Okay? Go through the eyes. Now we've cut the bill off of this fish and we've knocked the eyes out. Very good. Cross it over. He's going to cross it. Now he's going to lay it down and he's going to tie it tight, which will secure the weight that's on there. Keep everything nice and tight right there. Nice and tight. See that? Nice and tight. Now, when they get ready to hook, put the hook on, they won't use a, um, a, uh, a lure or anything on the front. They'll just take the hook and go straight through right there. And that ballyhoo will pull straight as an arrow and true and be a naked ballyhoo. These fish be a um, be more natural, more, more natural. So that was ready, you're gonna cut it off and be ready. That one's ready to go. There you go. Yep. Another sail.
we come back, more exciting Costa Rica action. Folks, we just put the third sailfish in the boat today. Uh, we, so far today, we've got a yellowfin. We caught some bait. We got three sails in. This is our last day of fishing. It's been awesome. We are here with William, as the captain of the boat, and uh, Craig Sutton, which is out of Florida, told us that uh, William here is numero uno captain. Numero uno captain, which uh, which he says is the best in the Central America. So he's uh, he's the man. Um, William, tell us a little bit about fishing North Syrah. How many boats, what type of fish you guys normally catch? Uh, the fishing North Syrah, we have a five boat. Okay. Uh, a four boat for fishing on the upshore, one boat for fishing in the inshore for rooster, cubera, snapper, grouper. Um, we have eight years of work in the fishing North Syrah, and the, the, the fish are the, the catching fish, selfies, uh, uh, blue marlin, black marlin, dorado, big tuna. That's, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Tell the folks at home what's maybe the best time of year. I know it's fishing all year round, but if you had to pick three or four months, which would be the best months? Uh, every year is different in the, okay. in the, in the fishing. Yeah, sometimes in June, June, July. Now it's, it's, it's good for marlin. Uh, a little bit. Uh, Selfish, uh, Dorado, Papa Dorado. What's the biggest fish you've been able to catch so far? The biggest fish, mucho fish. Uh, I think so that's Febrero. Fe Febrero for uh, uh, blue marlin, uh, Dorado. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was the biggest blue marlin you caught? Uh, six, six hundred, six hundred fifty blue marlin. Oh, yeah. I'll catch and release. Yeah, I'll catch you really. Okay. We've had a fantastic time here in Costa Rica. We want to thank you for having us out. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, sir.